I'ma flex on my ex, flex on the hoe. You still be in my head, so I'ma let you know. I realize how much I want you when I. <laughs> well, let's let's just um get right into it. The first tip I would give you is choosing the right legend. Think of it as this. What legend do you have? Do you have do you see in the store, right? Which legend has the easiest weapons to use? Or which weapons are you good at? Are you good at the bow, the rocket lance, whatever? Try and find a legend with those two weapons. But if you are good at the Katars and Rocket Lance, the legend for that has not come out. But the closest thing you can get to that to a legend that has both the Katars and Rocket Lance or Gauntlet and Rocket Lance is in Switchcraft. And it, basically you could test out how good you are with those two weapon configurations. Oh, the only unfortunate thing about it is that you only get one life to do it. Anyhow. Let's just get into it. Let's get into it. You see, I don't have any mains in Brawlhalla because no legend is good enough for um, me to use. So I'll just uh, select. I'll just select Orion. Orion is by far one of the easiest legends to use, but he's also um, the most. Oh, oh, I mean, custom games. I was just playing a game with a friend. Yeah. Orion is an easy legend to use, but also he is the most spam spammable legend. Now we don't want that. We don't need any more spammers in Raw Hollow. No. I would suggest trying to find out let I would suggest starting off with Orion. But don't just spam with him. You have to try and figure out combos like this. Oops. So you know this certain combos that are like very easy and others are very hard and like I covered this in like a, oh, um, an older video it's quite recent actually I, I think it came out like last month or something like that where I talk about stat, um, stats and do Brawlhalla stats even work yes anyhow final legend that you think you could utilize properly. Now, I will tell you this right now. The blasters and guitars and cannon probably is the hardest weapons to use in the game. So, I would recommend you starting off with something, you know, something lesser than that. Start off with the gauntlet and maybe the spear. And I would say the rock lance is a more advanced play, but just start off with the gauntlet and spear does Wu Shang. I have a cousin who um, is good at Wu Shang, though he doesn't play much. He's not bad with that legend. He just had a couple weeks of training and he was good. He became good with it. He learned the combos. He did the research to find combos. Yeah. That is something else. Find, go on YouTube and look for videos with, you know, just look for Brawlhalla combo videos so you can learn more and when you find those videos you must train and um, train and train and train practice 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 them over and over but you must realize that in when you train in training mode it's going to be way different than actually utilizing it in different modes like experimental yeah you can see how I'm using Nick right now and you see, it's not a very e it's a very easy combo. Yes, anyhow, yes, as I was saying, combos you must practice. Sometimes you could just mess up the combo, and you could just miss totally. You could sometimes press the wrong buttons and just do a dash inside. No, when you play Brawl Hollow, when I would recommend, as I said. When you want to use this weapon, I recommend you to be a high silver legend. Like, let me say, silver five. This is the best um, legend. This is the best ranking I could give it because it is. Um, I say it's by far. You're gonna learn little bit of Brawlhalla, 
you're gonna learn a bit of Rahala and uh, you're gonna know a bit of when is the appropriate time to do certain attacks and uh, why you did the attack and how effective the attack is so just practice 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 the next thing I would recommend is what is control now I'll show you my control my controls are and let me read this for you um yeah my controls are w a s d for movement keys the attack button is uh, the light attack button is left heavy attack button is up arrow left arrow is light attack up arrow is heavy attack and then throw weapon is right arrow and q and a is for my dodge buttons that i do not recommend you using that loadout because it does have its drawbacks you can't like prime you know prepare good combo say um grab the cancel attacks or you can't do appropriate dodges so try and reconfigure the controls to meet your specification now i would say i would say maybe mess around with the default controls i don't know maybe maybe not it all depends on how you want the game to control how you want to be able to play how free you freely you want to play so those are those are two tips i think there's four tips i got yeah so first tip pick the appropriate legend not by how it looks by how it no not by how it looks pick it by how it attacks but don't pick it because the attacks are spammable pick them because you know you could do easy combos with them the next tip try and reconfigure your controls because well the normal controls may not be up to snuff with you know let me say it may not be as good as you would want it to be next thing i would recommend is toxicity do not be a toxic person in Raw Hollow. Think of it as this. Say you tree stock somebody, and then the next three games, you get tree stock. But say, say for that first game you played and you tree stock somebody, you said GG easy, or you are a noob, right? To your to the person who just lost. Right? Say you play three games and you lost all three games to tree stock. Would you have liked for those other three people to say G um easy me? or noob or go and quit the game or trash or anything no you wouldn't want to be called any of those things or told any of those things in general so treat people with respect maybe we can help reverse this toxicity thing is also something else taunting in brawlhalla this is another tip when you're playing brawlhalla i know they give you like a free taunt and then there's the um event we had a while back the game fuel event where they give you a free another free taunt right try don't don't do those taunts at the end of each kills or at the end of them of the match because this this just um just being very very toxic and you also if you don't want to make friends you could do that but you're gonna realize that friends are actually important in brawl hall because they help you train and develop your skills further rather than just playing experimental mode and those other things so i recommend you being friendly and trying to give a good self image of yourself so we've covered three three yeah no we've covered yeah we've covered three topics toxic um choosing a legend um choosing um their best controls and treeing talk about toxicity and how why you shouldn't be toxic and the fourth one would be gravity cancels now this is something a lot of people struggle with gravity cancel attacks like this right attacks like that or this or maybe you struggle with your down fake attacks like this yeah no in brawlhalla you must learn gravity cancel because it is going to be one of the many skills that are going to improve your chances of winning a game right i'll also leave a link in the description to how your how a video to 
you know, increasing, increase your chance of winning Brawlhalla matches. Anyhow, yeah. as I was saying, Grafty Cancel attacks are not the easiest attacks to do, but they're still doable, they're not impossible. Maybe with your, maybe with, you know, your control scheme, it might be hard to do, so that's why I would recommend you changing your um, control scheme. You can see what I'm able to do on the screen. I do not have on the settings. There's also something in the settings that I'm pretty sure many of you do not know about. I think this is it. Yeah, that is the settings. When you do that, let me see if it works. No, I activated it for the wrong keyboard. Let me just yeah, change that back. Okay, good. There's also this settings in the game that will allow you blaster and sight legends to do things like this. Now, I noticed that when people have this thing turned on, they're more likely to spam. So, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't go and spam in Braha because like, you're just gonna ruin everything for everybody or for the person who is playing with you. So, yeah, as I was saying, choose the appropriate legend. Legends. Also, yes, look, this is the fifth and final tip. And this is gonna be more in depth on comboing. When you are playing Brawlhalla, go, and I said earlier in this video, I believe I said this earlier in the video, go and find videos that will help improve in, help improve your combo knowledge or how much combos you do know because combos are the best way to do damage rather than just hitting them with a single blunt attack you could be able to keep dishing out that dishing out more attack to do more damage over a longer peri period of time so i'll also leave a combo video at the end of this video for vector or should I do Petra? I'll do Petra. Um, a combo video for Petra. Oh yeah, and the orb. I would say the orb is like middle class. Alright, let me just put on the classes like this. The gauntlet and spear. Yeah, I'd say the gauntlet and spear. Easiest weapons to use. I, I believe it's the easiest weapons to use. Middle class weapons will go with the hammer, the axe. The no, yeah, the, the hammer, the axe, the orb, the yeah, the yeah, the orb, yeah, and then the high class legend, the high class uh, weapons, high class meaning the hardest to use, the katars, the blasters, the cannon, yeah, and the sight. Well, actually, no, the sight, the sight is like middle class, so. Maybe you could use it after you like reach gold and such that way you could maximize your potential But you could also start early to get a head start so Anyhow, those are some tips for Brawlhalla. This is a summary of it on the screen Yes, I am Jet the Gamer Boss. Please like and subscribe and share this video and um